everyone, Carl here with Literate Lessons, bringing you a different type of video this week. As we are approaching worlds and there's not a whole lot of VGC stuff to talk about, I thought it would be fun to more so celebrate Unite's one year anniversary this week. If you are unaware of what my normal gameplay style is, is I play VGC strictly for content most of the time, unless it's during the peak event playing season, going to regionals and locals and things and all that. But as COVID kind of shut all that down, I started picking up Unite to kind of supplement my video game habit, so to speak. And so I thought it would be cool to do a Lane Bully Glaceon build guide um, that I kind of just been spamming on the ladder since, the, since Glaceon dropped. Uh, I think this build is super duper cool and not something we normally see attackers do too often. Uh, everybody's normal view of attackers, unless you're like Venusaur or maybe Duraludon, is kind of just glass cannon spam your damage type of builds. But this build kind of looks to skirt on the outside of fights while also just being super duper annoying for people to deal with. Before we get started on all that, make sure to do all that fun YouTube stuff for us. Like comment, subscribe, uh, let us know down below if you want to see more Unite content. Uh, this is very off, out of norm for us since we are a VGC channel, and I would like to do more of this kind of stuff for y'all if this is something you're interested in. So before we get into the big part of where it's talking about Glaceon, let's talk about the Eevee real quick. Um, if you're unaware on how Unite works, each Eevee is kind of unique to the specific Eeveelutions. Um, we currently only have Sylveon, Espeon, and Glaceon in the game, so they kind of vary between each other. What makes the Glaceon Eevee unique is its ability, Runaway. What Runaway does, if the Pokemon would be affected by a hindrance, in this case, hindrances in Unite are stuns, um, knockups, burn, uh, sleep, things like that. The hindrance is negated and the Pokemon becomes invincible for a short amount of time. What this means is you can easily contest early camps uh, on your opponent's side of the map with a little bit of a buffer, so to speak. Being able to negate a hindrance and be able to walk away is very, very good, especially for something that's not super duper bulky like an attacker and stuff like that. When evolved in the Glaceon, this ability becomes Snow Cloaked, which pretty much does the same thing. Um, the only bonus is you become invulnerable for a very short amount of time. Um, it'll go on cooldown once it's triggered like normal, but being able to just ignore and walk away in a team fight is very, very powerful for this type of Glaceon build. The other big gimmick Glaceon has is Ice Crystals. Being able to build up your Ice Crystals to boost the damage you're dealing on your attacks is very, very good. Once you become a Glaceon, uh, I believe each basic attack, boosted basic attack, gets you one stack of Ice Crystals, which in this case, it's always in pairs, I believe, in twos. And... You build these up uh, to a cap of eight, and you can use them with your Icy Wind or Icicle Spear ability to deal increased damage based on the number of crystals. Your other move uh, usually is there to help you build up Ice Crystals faster. So in the case of this build, we are playing Ice Shard, which increases our movement speed for a short amount of time, and we get basic attack speed increased, and our basic attacks become ice shots, essentially. Um, these chunks, when they hit a target, get, grant us two ice crystals per basic attack that hits. I believe you get, if you have enough attack speed, you can build up to three of these in a very short amount of time, which means you get six ice crystals very, very quickly, which means you can spam a lot of damage very, very quickly. The meat and potatoes of our damage comes from Icicle Spear, though. Uh, this launches all of our, our stored ice crystals at a target. Um, they are auto-aimed. They will not go... like It's not like a launched skill shot. They will home in on their target, depend, no matter how far they go once they are targeted. However, your opponent's teammates may, be, may block these, but they will receive the damage that they would be taking instead. The other big thing about Icicle Spear is the damage that it deals is increased by every 
uh, ice crystal that hits the same target. So if you hit it with three of them, that's going to deal increased damage every single time it hits. So it'll be one, and then two is increased, and three is increased, and then four is increased, up to that cap of eight. Uh, I believe if you're fast enough on your fingers, you might be able to get to ten, because Ice Shard will give you two on use. But I'm not sure if you're able to implement that effectively in game or not the last big move the unite flashy move that we're going to talk about is glacial stage uh this has you leap up in the air i believe all the evs kind of do something similar like this where they become invulnerable for a little bit and then do their unite move uh, in the case of glaceon you jump up high uh and then create an ice zone in front of you when you land that damages opponents and while you're in there you generate ice crystals faster, you walk faster, and your opponents are slower. So this is a good tool for both getting in and out of fights. Um, being a Glaceon, you aren't super duper mobile outside of that uh, Glacial Stage Unite move. The good news is, is you build this up very quickly. You could easily build three or four in a single game and can abuse the heck out of it. Now that we've went over all of our abilities and moves, let's talk about the actual build here. So the build here is using things like scope lens and choice specs to do a lot of damage very, very early and very, very often. Uh, we are looking to increase our critical hit rate because we want those increased crits on our ice shard boosted attacks. And we are looking to use scope lens, uh, not scope lens, um choice specs to increase our special attack exponentially essentially and burn through our opponents we're also playing focus band which is just a very good lane item whether you're an attacker defender or all arounder or whatever this helps give you a little bit of extra bulk and, and especially for this build lets you be the bully that you want to be you want to be up in your opponent's face a lot of the time and having that extra survivability off a of focus band means that you don't have to worry about losing trades a whole lot. Our battle item, uh, this can vary between eject button and X speed and maybe even potion if you're kind of looking to play the long game that way. Uh, I prefer X speed with this build. Being able to unite and click X speed and just skate around everybody while dealing tons of damage and not being able to be touched is really, really cool. And it feels very nice as a, like a, a movement thing. So I definitely recommend trying this build with X speed first. Uh, if you find that you're getting caught too terribly often, you could also just switch to eject button. It works pretty much the same way. Playing with this build is, I would compare it to a very squishy AD carry up until the point that you get to level 4 when you evolve into Glaceon. The EV is very, very slow. Its attacks aren't the greatest, but you could, all, you could easily just pressure an opponent using Swift and Tail Whip to get last hits on the opponent's wild Pokemon or try to maybe pick up a KO here and there if they're very, very aggressive. Um, if you're looking for like lane partners, uh, anything really bulky is going to be very good with Glaceon, something that has good CC to lock down the targets. Uh, think like M Swinub or Crustle or other defenders and maybe some all-rounders, maybe Machoke, maybe Garchomp or something like that. Something that's going to be able to walk in and CC the targets are going to be good partners for you in lane with this Glaceon build. Once you hit level 4, you start to become that lane bully that you always wanted to be. You're going to be contesting every single wild Pokemon that you can find against them. Um, being able to build boost attacks on Bs or Apoms or the odd Dinos, depending on where you're at in the map, is huge. Always try to at least have 4 to 6 crystals built up consistently. Um, they do fall off over time. Um, it is a clean drop, so if you aren't attacking anything and you have six crystals built up, if a certain amount of time passes, they will all fall off. So you definitely have to watch that meter and gauge your engages correctly. Uh, if you go in and you have no ice crystals built up, you might... Well, you there's no might you will be lacking damage going into that fight and you will probably end up on the losing side of that battle as you level up get to level six get your ice shard level nine get your unite move uh you become this kind of outskirty skatey skirmisher uh you 
kind of just throw basic attacks out at your opponents as they try to chase you down. Um, and then when they get too close, you can turn and burn them, essentially. Uh, you can use Ice Shard to build up crystals quickly on them, and then use Icicle Spear to throw all that damage back at them as they're trying to get close and get in range and attacking you. The big things you have to watch out for is Glaceon being, like, jumped on top of. Uh, if your opponents have a lot of strong CC, which is crowd control, um, you do have that Snow Cloak ability to get away once, but if they can continue to chase you down and you can't get away, you're going to end up probably losing the fight and having to go back to spawn. So definitely you have to play safe depending on how the opponent's team is built. If there's like Blissey, Machamp, um, Snorlax, a lot of these really CC heavy Pokemon that like to jump in on top of you, you're definitely going to have to watch and play back a little bit farther, play a little bit safer than you normally would. Definitely have to keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Could maybe even start playing full heal if that becomes something that you're running into a lot of. And that's all I got this week. I hope this off-brand video uh, doesn't run away everybody. This isn't our normal thing. Uh, this won't be won't be a normal thing on the channel either. Uh, this was just a nice little breath of fresh air. VGC has been gotten kind of stifling here lately. Uh, so it was nice to make something content-wise that wasn't VGC. Again, do all that fun YouTube stuff for us. Like, comment, subscribe. If you liked the video, leave a leave a comment down below so I know that don't, you want to see more stuff like this. And other than that, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you're at in the world. We will see you all on Monday for the podcast. Bye, everyone.